that umbrella. You may, even just to shield the sun, and then it may right. do double duty <laughs> right. when the storms come in, although it doesn't look like it's going to really be that bad down the shore. So I think the air show will go, go on without a hitch okay. for most of the day tomorrow. But I do think parts of the area will be dealing with the threat for severe weather okay. once again, as we see a line of strong storms that will try to march through the area in the afternoon and evening. But this is not the cold front that's going to end the heat. That doesn't actually come through until Thursday night. And then we get the good stuff starting on Friday. Here's a look outside right now that we'll start off in Bethlehem. Our camera freezing up a little bit there, but it is a quiet night in Bethlehem. Temperatures are in the 80s, though, across the Lehigh Valley. Warm and steamy out there. You can see Allentown still sitting at 81. It's 80 degrees in Redding, 79 in Philadelphia right now, and it's 80 at the Atlantic City Airport. It is hot, and it feels even hotter. Now, it's been a little bit cooler down the shore this afternoon, at least, although temp's not dropping quite as rapidly right now. We're at 78 in Stone Harbor, 78 in Cape May, breeze off the ocean. It's still steamy, 78 in Rehoboth Beach, but the air's almost fully saturated, so it just feels thick when you step outside tonight. Storm scan three, though, not showing much of anything. This storm is just starting to depart the area, moving away from the Pocono region. There may be a couple of spotty showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder in one or two spots overnight. Can't rule it out down the shore or near the city, and there will be some patchy fog developing overnight and into tomorrow morning. Then we see another line of storms approach the area by tomorrow afternoon. So around three or four o'clock, I think these storms will really start to fire up in the north and west suburbs. These are the areas that will have the greatest risk of severe weather, the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley, because this is the height of the afternoon, the hottest, most humid part of the day. 4 p.m., these storms could really get rocking. Now, as they head toward the city, they will gradually start to weaken. Six o'clock, still in the north and west suburbs, likely to move through the city by around seven or eight. They may weaken. But keep in mind, 8 o'clock is still pretty close to daylight hours, so there's still going to be plenty of heat and humidity around for the storms to work with. They will likely fizzle out really before reaching the coast. And then Thursday, we start the day with sun. Most of the day is dry, but then in the afternoon and at night, another line of heavy storms will come through. Heavy downpours Thursday night around this time into the overnight hours, finally clearing out by Friday midday. So severe threat is slight for tomorrow for the city and areas to the north. Heavy rain and lightning will be the biggest threats, a moderate risk for damaging wind. Hail and tornado risk does look low. Overnight, we're down to 75, a stray thunder shower, warm and muggy. Tomorrow, hot and humid with those afternoon and evening storms. And your eyewitness weather seven day forecast does show the changes coming. Very hot tomorrow and Thursday. Transition day is Friday. We clear it out by afternoon, much less humid. And then the weekend, we kind of reap the benefits of sweating through this latest heat wave, 70s with sunshine, both Saturday and Sunday, low humidity. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Oh, looking it's forward to that. The that is a win. Humidity. That's going to feel amazing. Nice. It's a win. It's a win.